Emeralds, I promise I'd go to you next. Go ahead. Yeah, I appreciate it. Um, first, following up on Jeff's question regarding China and Taiwan, China has grown increasingly aggressive under this administration. And then now we're set to start trade talks back with them. Um, there was concern when President Biden took office about his son's business dealings with China. He was supposed to divest himself of his stake in a Chinese private equity firm in December with ties to the Chinese Central Bank. As of April, he had not yet done that. And at some point, you are going to get back to us on that. Do you have an update on that? Has he dissolved that interest now? I'd point you to his representatives on that. He doesn't work in the administration. I would say, though, Emerald, that, uh, and I think you're referring today to the announcement, uh, this speech by Ambassador Tai about phase one. And what I think it's important to note here is that this approach uh, definitely differs from the approach of the prior administration, in our view. Uh, their approach hurt select sectors of the American economy and wasn't targeted to address strategic problems we have. These initial steps will help, uh, we're taking, are going to realign our trade policies towards, uh, from the PRC toward our priorities. And that's the objective of this president. It's just the first stage in this process. Obviously, the ambassador gave an extensive speech today. As we enter into this, though, the president has said during the campaign that none of his family will have any business relationship with anyone that relates to a foreign corporation or a foreign country. Wouldn't it be assuring to the American <laughs> people as we head into this if they just let the American people know if Hunter has divulged himself of well, that. Well, again, sure I, I, I conveyed to you, and then I think I'm going to have to move on, that you should no, talk to you should talk to his representatives. And there's no reason to yell. I'm certainly not yelling. You should talk to his representatives. That remains his policy. He's been working to wind that down. Beyond that, I think we would talk to his representatives. You separately. Um, the ambassador designate to India mm -hmm. was seen reportedly at an event in Los Angeles last week, uh, an art gallery event. Uh, that was featured the artwork of the president's son Hunter. Um, the ethicists who have pointed to this arrangement have expressed concern that the president's son selling art could potentially uh, put the president in a situation where those who seek jobs either in this administration or favors from this administration uh, and could put this White House in an awkward position. Should, first of all, what is the White House's response to the fact that uh, an ambassador nominee was at this event? And secondly, should we expect to see more people who seek jobs in this administration attending events like this in the future? Well, to be clear, we've spoken to the arrangement that is run by the gallerist uh, and Hunter Biden's uh, representatives that the White House provided suggestions for. I'd refer you to the gal gallerist for questions about uh, the event um, and, and, and as well as the uh, representatives of uh, Mr. Garcetti in terms of his attendance. But just to follow up, this is exactly what ethicists said they were worried about. What is specifically? The fact that, uh, the, that the president's son... That he son, reportedly attended an event? Well, that the president's son would be selling artwork and then meeting potentially with people who would seek to buy it. If you have attendees at that event who might be seeking either jobs in this administration or favors from this administration, isn't it an awkward situation to put the president in? Again, the gallerist has spoken to, we've spoken to the specifics, what the gallerist has agreed to, and what uh, per, what recommendations were made. I've done that several times. I don't have additional details for it from here. I point you to them. Go ahead. So, so does this White House not have any concerns about uh, the photos that have emerged of showing Hunter Biden at that gallery alongside prospective buyers? I point you to the gallerist on uh, specifics of the restrictions that were put in place. Great. But what about the position of this White House? This is a president who ran on being transparent, and you and we were very now. transparent about what recommendations were made to the gallerist, uh, and I would again point to them or the many times I've spoken about that. Thanks, Jen. Uh, the Biden administration today put out a big report about addressing corruption. I want to ask you two quick and hopefully pretty easy questions about that. Uh, shortly after President Biden's uh, virtual meeting with the Chinese president, uh, the first son's attorney said that he has finally divested from a Chinese investment fund controlled by state-owned entities. I was hoping you could commit to uh, basic transparency about that transaction, including the name of the buyer, the dollar amount, and the timing. And the second question is, my colleague Miranda Devine has a new book out called uh, The Laptop from Hell. And I was hoping that you could confirm that the laptop is indeed authentic um, and not Russian disinformation, as you seem to suggest on Twitter last year. Well, uh, on the first, uh the president's son is not an employee of the federal government, so I'd point you to his representatives 
And as it relates to the book, I have neither, neither had the time nor interest in exploring or reading the book. Could go ahead, Tina. Attorney go ahead, Tina. I, I think I answered your question. Go ahead. You, well, you can go to the representative of the person who's not an employee of the federal government. Go ahead, Tina. I think we have to move on. Go ahead. Is there anything the White House is doing to help parts of the U.S.? Well, the meeting that's underway. Um, just the, the events, demands, phone calls that led up to the 2019 impeachment. I'm just wondering, uh, did they factor in any way into the way the White House prepared for this meeting, specifically the fact that Hunter Biden was a key part of those conversations with the last administration and Zelensky? And did President Biden expect in any way, shape, or form to address that dynamic in today's meeting? No. Jeff? Mr. Biden, you confirmed yesterday that he will be meeting with prospective buyers, but you also said that he's not going to have any conversation. Not that he's meeting with prospective buyers, that he is attending uh, gallery events that had been prior uh, prior plans and announced. There could be prospective buyers there. He's not, those, those discussions will be happening with the gallerists, but that is different than meeting with prospective buyers. If there are prospective buyers there, you said yesterday that he is not going to have any conversations related to the selling of art. How can the administration guarantee that? The selling of his art will all happen through galler the gallerists, and uh, the names and individuals will be kept confidential. We will not be aware, neither will he be aware. Is there anything stopping anyone from directly telling, though, Hunter Biden that they're going to purchase his art? And if they do, the American people won't know who they are. He will not know. We will not know who purchases his art. Go ahead, Jeff. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. Um, as a candidate, uh, President Biden said, and I'm quoting, uh, quote, I've uh, never spoken to my son about his overseas business dealings, but recently photographs and documents have called that into question. Uh, in 2015, uh, President Biden and his vice president met at Cafe Milano uh, with his son's Ukrainian, Russian, and Kazakhstani business associates one day before a Burisma executive thanked the first son for the opportunity to meet his father. And also in 2015, as Vice President, uh, the President hosted at the Naval Observatory uh, Mexican Business Associates of Hunter Biden before uh, Hunter Biden emailed these associates from Air Force Two the next year going to Mexico. So I have kind of a two-part question. Um, was President Biden indeed unaware that his son was pursuing business opportunities for these people he met? And also, uh, according to recent reporting, uh, the first son still has a stake in a Chinese investment company. When is he going to unload that? I, on the last part, he's working to unload that. I'd point you to his representatives. The president does not discuss business dealings with family members, and otherwise I'm not going to respond to Rudy Giuliani's lawyer. Um, go ahead in the back. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thanks, Jen. I wanted to ask you about the executive order.